Welcome to Thursday's math lesson. Today's lesson is lesson eight, and it's going to be a little bit different. We are going to be focusing on our positional words of above and below today. So we've talked about those before in the past. So I have a little friend here with me. This is my little duck friend, and he is going to help me to introduce the words above and below. So we can see that he is resting on this can right now, but that does not mean he is above the can. In order to be above, he has to be hovering up above the can. So now we can say that our duck is above the can. The opposite of above is below. So if I move him underneath my can, he is now below the can. So we have above and below. Repeat after me, above, below. So these are the two vocabulary words that you're going to be learning today. So in addition to all of the three-dimensional shapes and two-dimensional shapes that we've been learning, we're learning these positional words above and below. So we will be seeing some of those shapes again in the lesson today. So we're going to go ahead now and move into seeing what our friend has to share with you. So how can you use the terms above and below to describe shapes in the environment? Howdy! Yesterday, Cher and I saw some petting zoo workers set up for a party. Now we're seeing shapes all over the barn. Cher said she sees an object in the barn that's shaped like a cone and is above the object that's shaped like a cube. Hmm. I'm not sure which object she means. I wonder which cone is above a cube. I'd like to know. Let's learn about using above and below to describe shape. Victor is putting away toys in the classroom. He puts one cube above the shelf. He puts another cube below the shelf. How can you describe where Victor puts the cubes? What's the meaning of above and below in the problem? Above is when you put the cube higher. Below is when you put the cube lower. Look at the objects below the shelf. There's a soccer ball, a drum, a cone, and a letter block. Which object below the shelf is shaped like a sphere? Click to find out. Which is below that's shaped like a sphere? Would it be this one or this one? I think it's going to be this one. The soccer ball is shaped like a sphere. Look at the objects above the shelf. There's a tuna can, a basketball, and a wooden block. Which object above the shelf is shaped like a cylinder? Click to find out. So we look and see which one do we think is the cylinder. Make sure it's above, and then we can click on it. The tuna can is shaped like a cylinder. This playground shows some three-dimensional objects. You can see two cylinders, two cubes, three cones, and one spear. Which object is shaped like a cube and is above the playset? Select the correct object, then click check. So it would be the one that is higher. You have a cube here, and you have one here. So since this one is up higher, it is above. And we're going to click on this one. Uh-oh. It's not responding. Maybe this one, too. 
No. Oh, I think our tape is stuck. Okay, friends, so we're going to just move on. So this cube is above and this cube is below. Over here, we have our cones. We see that these two cones are above and we see this cone is below. Which object is above along with our cones and our cube is our cylinder right here is above and then we have this sphere is below. Now okay. let's practice with the personal math trainer. So we're going to go and move into our workbook page. So I'm hoping you have your um, math page, your math book turned to page 441, lesson eight, and you will see that it is above and below. So the directions say to trace the circle around the object shaped like a cylinder. So look at where you see the circle. We see it right here. So you're going to take your pencil or you can take a um, black crayon if you prefer and go ahead and circle this object right here. So that object is a cylinder and it said it is below the shelf. So we're looking here and we see it is definitely below this shelf right here. Now trace the X on the object that is shaped like a sphere that is above the cabinet. So up here we see a sphere and it has an X. We're going to trace over that with our pencil. And that is above this cabinet. It is way up here and it is above. So we have once again, above and below. This one's below the shelf. This one is above this cabinet. All right, moving on now to our next page. And this one should look like what we saw in the video. And we're going to practice circling the objects that are shaped like a cone that's below the playset. So let me repeat that. Circle the object that is shaped like a cone below the playset. So we have to look, here is our big, huge playset. We look at these shapes up here, and we're going to look at the ones down here because they're asking you to circle the object that is shaped like a cone below the playset. So we look at this one, this one, here and here. Which one of these do you think is a cone? You can put your finger on it. If your finger is on this one, that is correct. And we're going to place a circle around this cone because it is below the playset. Now we're going to mark an X on the object that is shaped like a cube above the playset. So we're going to come up here. We're going to look at these shapes. Which one do you see is shaped like a cube? And that is above the playset. You can point to it. If your finger is on this shape, that is correct, and you can mark an X with your pencil or crayon. Last, it says to color the object that is shaped like a cylinder above the playset. So this is going to be a little tricky, so think about which one is the cylinder. Oh, we see a cylinder here. Looks kind of like a water bottle. We also see one here. So which one is above the playset? Is it this one or this one? Go ahead and point to which one you think it is. If you are pointing to this one, you are correct. And it says you may color it. So I'll let you color it whatever color you want. I'm going to go ahead and I think color, hmm, let's see, what choices do I have here? I might color it, hmm, I think maybe a dark blue. We'll see here. Okay, I'm going to come over here and I'm coloring it. You can see me coloring it a dark blue. Pretty cool, right, boys and girls? I never did this when we did our video lessons in the classroom. So you can just go ahead and take your crayon, color that in, any color you would like. When you are finished, put your crayon down, 
and turn to the next page. Now we're on page 443. We see the children playing volleyball here and it says circle the ball that is above the net. Now remember above means to be mean means it is not on the net, it is above the net. So we have two balls. We have one here and we have one here. Point to the one that's above. If you are pointing to this one, that is correct. You may go ahead and take your pencil and circle it at this time. And then the directions say to mark an X on the box that is directly below the net. So we're not doing this. That's a sphere. So, hmm, we have to look carefully. I see a box here and I see two boxes here, but the direction says to mark an X on the box that is directly below the net. So that's a little tricky. Is it this one, this one, or this one? Point to the one you think it is. If you are pointing to this one, that is correct. And you may mark an X just like that because this one is directly below the net. This one is out to the side and this one is on top of the net. So this can only be the correct answer. Last, oops, is that last? Okay, now we're going to move to the very last page in this lesson and it looks like this and we're going to be drawing to show what we know about three-dimensional shapes. So it says, draw to show what you know about real-world three-dimensional objects that might be above or below the net. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. If you would like to do this on your own with your parents' help, you can go ahead and stop the video and finish this page by yourself. For those of you that want to do it with me, you can go ahead and follow along. So we're, because we're working with above and below, we're going to go ahead and draw an object below and above and one below. So we're going to go ahead and let's draw something that we haven't drawn today. How about we do a, hmm, oh, do we want to do a cube? How about we do a cube? And we're going to draw a cube above the net. So we start with a square just like this and then we come out we slant the two lines and then connect come down and connect. Make sure when you draw your cube that it is not touching the net. It needs to be above the net. And now down here below the net we're going to draw a cone. So we'll start with a triangle Make sure it's pointed just like this and then when you get to the bottom we're going to do a curved line. We're going to come down like a smiley face and connect and then keep going to make an oval. And now we have drawn a cone below the net. So repeat with me one last time and we can do this in complete sentences. I have a cube above my net. I have a cone below my net. And that concludes our math lesson for today, lesson eight. Tomorrow we will be doing lesson nine. So tomorrow is going to be Friday, and I thought it would be fun if you could wear blue and maybe wear a hat for our lesson tomorrow. I will be wearing blue and wearing a hat. So I will see you then. Have a very happy Thursday.